on today's Minute of the Apes, I send a half-naked photo to a straight Christian man every Sunday waiting for input about whether I look fit or not. <laughs> We are determined to know what the apes want, war or peace. They are a dead human, it's a dead human. And if it is man's destiny one day to be dominated, then oh please God, let him be dominated by such as you. Welcome to Minute of the Apes, a daily podcast where we break down every minute of the Planet of the Ape movies one minute at a time. And I'm left kind of – I'm scratching my ear just because I'm really trying to put together you sending half-naked pictures to a Christian well, man. Is that what it, you said? If, if, it's, if it's any uh, – if it makes you feel better, J.J. does send pictures of herself and bra and underwear to a stranger as well. Exactly. Yeah, It's, just, it's the same stranger. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, Lord. I, I, have either of you watched that thing on HBO called The Vow? Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but I ain't got time for stupid people. I find stupid people fascinating, and it's especially Sean. Did you know that Aunt Beru from the prequels is one of them? No, I did not. She's in yeah. this, and she's married to like one of the the main guys' right hand people. It's fascinating. But the, did you ever see that movie? What the bleep did you know, Sean? Did you ever see that like new I, age I, film? I, I know it. I have not seen it. That's the guy who created who who uh, wrote and directed that film. And then he kind of ends up getting caught up in the cult. The cool side of him being caught up in the cult is the fact that he's a, a, a filmmaker. He shot everything. Yeah, <laughs> everything. Uh, uh, they have, they have, they can make a show out of it because he was tape. constantly filming. Yeah, constantly filming what was going on inside the cult. Now the, it was from an executive success program. Mm-hmm. So the the weird uh, sex cult uh, branding stuff wasn't really apparent to the majority of people. It was just like a multi level marketing cult kind of you know, pay us a lot of money because you need to get better. You have all these things. It's, it's the, the insidious part of the, the, you know, the young women thing is kind of even more hidden. So it takes a while to kind of get to where they break down this organization. Uh, but uh, Todd, have you finished watching it or you finished? Yeah, I finished it last weekend. You know, I, I, are you going to watch the Showtime show that's coming out then? The Showtime show that's coming out there, there, there's another documentary that's starting up. That is about the same thing, but oh. it's on Showtime covering a, a different person that was in there. I did not know that. Uh, I don't know. I, I'll see. I, what I found fascinating with that one was, um, I mean, at the very end, this guy that's the filmmaker, in a, in a breakdown moment, pretty much says no one joins a cult. They join a movement. They, they join something they believe in that becomes a cult. And I thought that, hey, that's a pretty interesting way of, of at least saying how people get caught up in those kind of things. Like so. nobody sees themselves as a bad guy. They're yeah. all the heroes in their own story. It's fascinating. Well, well I mean, when I, when, I, when I think about the community organizations that are involved with, whether it's CrossFit, whether it's, you know, this uh, nutrition macro counting thing, when I think about groups I've been a part of in the past – I mean, even church organizations, there's this level to where you can kind of see where you develop these communities mm-hmm. that could potentially get out of control, out of hand. There's there's a level to which I, I think people would back away when they get to a particular point, which is when it loses its not, inability to become a cult. But there are people that just kind of get wrapped up in CrossFit. CrossFit's an easy thing to see people get kind of sure. caught up in where they spend all the money and their time and their this and that, whatever. But CrossFit isn't demanding uh, the organization itself isn't demanding you give you give them all of your money, right? It's not like a they're not demanding you to participate Tithe in, and in, all in that sex. Or, yeah, yeah, you know. And how does this all relate to apes? Well, because uh, because uh, you know uh, Caesar is developing his own cult of apes that are uh, fair his enough. And and no cult of personality. Yeah, exactly. You know. Well, to be fair to the whole thing, uh, you know, I'm I'm kind of glad we talk about this because this minute that we we'd already said it doesn't have a lot of action. You you pretty much get what you get. So, Sean, tell us what's going on, what we see in this minute. 
All right, we start in 83 with more bodies being stacked in front of the governor and ends with Caesar gazing upon what he hath wrought. All right, let's take a listen to minute 83 of Conquest at the Planet of the Apes. with the gorillas, chimpanzees, orangutans, reported apes, seizures. We've got bodies being stacked like cordwood. We've got dead apes. You think Armando's at the bottom of the pile? I think Armando <laughs> is a painting on a sidewalk somewhere. That's about it. So, Maybe that's his blood behind breath. All on the ground. So let's get back to so, this cult thing. because before the, Yeah, before, real quick. Before this minute started, we uh, are comparing the show Richard because he's watched the unextended version. He's watching theatrical. And uh, there was what, like one or two shots that are slightly yeah. different. Yeah, one or one or two more. Premieres? One or two more shots of a bloody uh, people, blood, bloody bodies and things. Now, there, Breck is on the ground. There is blood all around Breck. I am seeing a few bodies kind of drag towards him and drop nearby him. I'm seeing him kind of reacting to things. At least it does come into the shot, and she also has her bright red blood on her temple on the one side. But it, there were just a couple of little flash cuts of things that were taken out from mine as well. Of, of, blood of people i really think that lisa I, I i thought why do you put that blood on her we never saw the injury i know that that blood insinuates that there was a struggle and she was a part of it but i really think i think it's just to make her stand out i do too easier because while she has a much more feminine face than caesar it still makes her easy to discern who it is mm-hmm. quickly that i'm looking at and why is she important because once again in the scene she is the passive observer her head panning from one thing to the other, seeing the violence, and she has a very sorrowful, scared look on her face. That's about the extent of what we get. People shoved around. We get, uh, like I said, there's a moment of of some apes beating some humans when they toss them about, and we don't get much else. So these apes, can they understand Caesar? How, How much... How many how many words do they understand? So when he begins pontificating upon uh, this no, struggle, no, go, stop, do. Yeah, I mean, library. We, we've never known them to understand anything, and yet they're his captive audience, looking to him. And, and I say that now because there'll, there'll be something at some point where it's even like, okay, why are they doing what they're doing? But. Why are they following him? What about it? Is it that they've understood to do it? Because I kind of don't get it. it well, uh, and we're not getting any. We're not getting any commands from Caesar either. I mean, right. That's that. We, this moment needs a little more Caesar giving direction or something just to kind of. He needs a little more. Something you're right. The apes are just kind of. We 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 have them now rising up, but we don't know why. Right why they're all kind of in unison with this, with this kind of thing. The, the, there's the, 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 the air budding with the guns. We don't see them hitting anybody. You know, we, we see them kind of cover did, these guns. At 10, at 10 seconds in, there's an ape that's just to the left of Lisa on the stairs. And he's just got a length of rope. He's not even trying to whip the governor. He's just shaking the rope. I don't remember. There weren't any, there weren't any black whip noises in this. Were there any mm-hmm. crack noises or anything like that? Not that kind, I recall. Kind of lacking of a little bit of... Just the ape chanting is basically all you really hear. I did go back and look at Lisa in the in the command center when she's standing beside Caesar, and she already has that blood in there. So we assumed it happened. Yeah, it happened in the yeah. yeah, but she was she it was painted on her already. Then it's not suddenly new. I I go back that I I wish it, that this is almost a moment when I wish there was a wide shot, and I wish Caesar was not standing at at the top of the stairs yet. If we go back to we wanted McDonald shoved down upon his knees, brought into the scene, 
if this is mm-hmm. a wide shot back with the apes in the foreground and here are the steps and Caesar's walking up here, you could have had McDonald shoved in from the right side of the frame over there and Caesar ascend those stairs. I, I actually oh, think yeah. his ascension to the nice. stairs would have been, hey, I'm the leader. Here I am. But instead, he's just there. And, and that's one of the things that this movie, I realized the, they had a short production schedule. I realized they're up against all kinds of budgetary re, uh, concerns. You're going to tell me you can't still tell your story of him walking up and taking that moment? It's just kind of yeah. flat. It's kind of boring. It's kind of, eh, he's here. He, he's also disconnected from the scene. Mm-hmm. All we, the only thing that puts him in the scene is the 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 the, the red light and the smoke of clearly what's you know happening in the commotion below. Right. Like yeah. like McDonald was when he first popped up in the scene as well. They were just kind of disconnected heads, and it, it felt like a these felt like a, a what do you call them a, like pickup shots. Like they didn't get the mm-hmm. shots they wanted, mm-hmm. so they just yeah, kind of made. Cut, they just yeah. kind of they kind of just put them in there. Let's get these in here so we can put them in the scene. I mean, maybe there was an, a Caesar Ascension moment. And we just they just didn't work for editing or whatever reason. Maybe, we just maybe. To kind of put in there. Maybe they they just felt that it wasn't necessary. And I do think that this plays in a certain manner. I just I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of the staging of the 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 shot. Tell me that story. Give Caesar that moment to become the leader. Now, I also I'm going to bring up right now. Richard's background is the shot of Caesar atop these stairs as he begins this moment. Why is Caesar all of a sudden really aping up on his ape manity, his mannerisms? You know, yeah, he all went, curled over yeah, a little he, bit. He was much more human like in his ape behavior at the first of the film. He put on the the the, the airs of an ape to blend in. Mm-hmm. And now it's almost like he's assuming them. Is he doing it because it's almost like this is who I really am and I'm giving into it? I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, we're, we don't quite have this moment yet. We just have his face in these can, scenes. But yeah, he, I guess his body he see he changes him. his he's body hunched. language. Yeah, he's hunched. Yeah. And you may not see the hands, but you see that hunch. And it's just... I mean, yeah. I, I, I think there would be... You would, right. imagine, you would imagine it being upright at this point. I, I don't know if... Maybe it's Roddy trying to... Maybe. Bring more to... The, the 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 position without really thinking through what he's supposed to be doing at this moment with this power. Um, I, I go back to that moment in the the tunnels with McDonald when I think I was the one that suggested wouldn't it have been nice in that moment if Caesar actually went ahead and stood up when he right. said that. I think Caesar's a more powerful leader here to the apes if he's standing up. And if, if he, yeah, you know, he it's an example. They're they're all not going to do it, but. This was the the point when I did just notice he's hunkered down into this shot, and it's maybe it's to be more primal. I don't know. Well, and and, and you know we might it might Roddy might have reacted differently if he were flanked by two other chimpanzees. Yeah. If if the actor had actually been put in with the chimpanzees, you might have seen him stand upright when compared to the apes beside him. You know, true, to show true. that kind of dominance and superiority. But when he's left alone, standing just at the top of some stairs. He, the actor itself may not kind of realize what he's doing to, to be dominant in the situation and the fact that he's overseeing it all. I, I, you know, the only people that are really connected in this moment are Brett down on the ground and Lisa coming in the shot to kind of be sympathetic. I, I, it was nice to have Lisa kind of move in and out of this moment with the other apes around her mm-hmm. because otherwise the principal characters outside of Breck are not connected to what's happening. So it was nice to have her kind of come down and, and, and look at this and kind of give that kind of shuttered horror to what she sees, you know, and turn and look back at, at um, Caesar as if this is not what it's supposed to be. Uh, and it's a, it's definitely a nice transformation for her character because she really hasn't had much to do at this point other than be somebody that Caesar sniffs every so often. You know, I, 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 the whole moment to me felt rather biblical, the idea of somebody upon a mount delivering a speech, the one person that's sympathetic down below that the Messiah may not even be able to understand their empathy that's going on. It could have been so much more so. It could have been this grand movie scene had it, okay, so let's imagine again we got the ascension. Well, why isn't why is Lisa on those steps alone by herself? Shouldn't she be coming from the crowd to see that? And she's the one that steps up. There are just missed opportunities like that. That even though it's a small gesture, I Lisa just standing there. I thought, why aren't the other apes like, hey, bitch, get out of the way? 
Well, we, we've, we've, Get out the way. We've often wondered, you know, why we would follow Lisa down the steps into the April.